bad. <laughs> oh, there's old man Steven on one second good morning. You know, I, I did a, a video the other day about reality TV, but, uh, and I guess I watched some of it. I, uh, I forget that shows like Survivor and Big Brother, those are reality TV shows. And I like that. I've always liked Big Brother. I think it's a hoot. I watch it every time it comes on. People say, how can you watch that show? Well, I just enjoy it, you know, I don't know. I, I always thought it would be fun if they had a, a Big Brother for older people. They'd have to put in more bathrooms and they'd have to schedule nap times <laughs> for the older set. <laughs> that might be kind of funny, but anyway, that's just a thought I had. But anyway, I notice a lot of my favorite shows are, because I watch a lot of TV. You know, that's I, that's what I do. I enjoy it. Uh, but a lot of my favorite shows are going off for the summer, and, and, and I do miss them. And now they're bringing on the summer replacements. So some of the summer shows are pretty good, and they end up being on, coming back and being on a regular series. But... But nowadays it's hard to keep up with, with most of TV because of the schedules. I mean, it's not like it used to be. You could watch a show and know it was going to be on every week. Now you don't know whether it's going to be on or not because they're going to have a special, uh, the Academy Awards, or they're going to have a game. or, or it's, it's very confusing, and, and I don't see how a lot of shows keep an audience I mean, you have to really work at watching them, you know, especially the ones on Sunday night during football season, yeah, because whatever station that football game's on, it's going to get that your show's going to get delayed. I've learned, I record them because I watch them the next day because I don't stay up that late, and I've learned a, a little trick. I always record the the news after the last show because if there's a game on that show got delayed, it's going to go into that that hour, that 30 minutes that the news is on, and that way you don't lose the end of the show. I know it sounds complicated, but it's not. But anyway, <laughs> here I am just ranting and raving about stuff that don't mean a hill of beans, although I am upset that Good Wife is going off. I'm going to miss that show. I love it. I love, uh, what's her name, the one that plays the Good Wife, um... She's just, she's great. She's a good actress, yeah. And, uh, of course, I, I'm disappointed in Scandal. I, last week's episode where Olivia Pope did things that were were just, to me, out of her, not in her character. I don't know why they had her do what she did. And it's just, I'm, I'm just shocked. I may not even watch it anymore. That's how shocked I am. And I love that show. I love Olivia Pope. I love her. I like when she walks in the room. She just, she has such authority. You know, she walks in carrying that purse, and she, she's in charge. Carrie Washington, I love her. She's so cute, great actress. But anyway, that's my ranting and raving about TV shows. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how some of them stay on the air because their their schedule are, are so messed up and erotic. Uh, erotic that's not <laughs> that's not what they are <laughs> now that's funny well anyway on that note I'm gonna leave now oh, excuse me I'll talk to you later bye